in this video, we're going to be covering two stocks that have millions of dollars flowing into them. Now, I want to start off by saying the stock market will be closed on Monday, January 17th for MLK Day. So happy MLK Day, everyone. The market will, will be closed, so definitely keep that in mind. But we still have a great video today, and we have two huge stocks to keep on your radar for when the market opens on Tuesday. So let's get right into it. So starting off, um, I just want to say that um, following the big money or like institutions or you know just giant players in the market normally works pretty well. It doesn't always work, but another important thing to keep in mind when looking at you know unusual options activity or even large stock trades is that an insider can sell their shares for any reason. Sometimes they just want to you know, buy a new Ferrari, we can say, or maybe they think the stock will fall, or maybe they're selling their shares for tax purposes like Elon Musk did. But one thing that remains constant is that insiders buy shares of a company for one reason and one reason only, and that's because they think the stock will rise. So in this video, we're going to cover two stocks that have a ton of money flowing into them, and we're gonna get into it right now. So the first company we're looking at is actually DocuSign. So there's, there's a good amount of money flowing into this one, but the second stock is one of the craziest plays I've seen in a pretty long time. So uh, starting off with DocuSign, we can see that this stock just, it, it's been bad. It's been bad for the past uh, year or so. We could see on their most recent earnings report, the stock just tanked down all the way from $230 all the way down to $130. It's, I guess you could say yearly high was $314 and right now it's at $130. And we can see overall they're on a pretty awesome uptrend, but that last earnings report was pretty brutal. Basically what happened is DocuSign told everyone they expected their third quarter billings to land in the range between $585 million and $597 million. And then they came out and actually reported um, their third quarter billings in the $565 million level. So they definitely missed out on that part of their earnings report. But besides that, their earnings were actually pretty decent. Like if we go back to like the nine month chart, we can see their earnings per share on their most recent earnings report was 58 cents when it was only estimated to be basically nothing. So their earnings are decent and they're growing at a pretty good pace. And if we shift over into their, um, I guess you could say recent price action, is if we scroll down, we can see the president and CEO of DocuSign, which is Daniel Springer, just bought 18,700 shares of DocuSign, which is around $2.4 million. He bought these at a price of like $129 or so, and it's right around 130, I guess you could say 130 right now. So it's still right around that level. DocuSign is at a pretty low level. And I know that DocuSign really exploded over the past two years with the whole pandemic and everything. But honestly, like the way DocuSign's growing is pretty good and I can definitely see it continuing to grow in the future. And if we look at like Google search trends for DocuSign, naturally we saw a huge explosion in 2020 because the world was locked down, but we're still seeing a massive amount of search volume flow into DocuSign. And we can just see on the chart right here, this is just the past five years. So it's like, we're, it's like really starting to grow. You can tell people are definitely uh, looking at it. Uh, to be fair, they do have some competition with Adobe and a couple other companies, but either way, they're still holding pretty strong. And if we also look at some of their fundamentals, we can see that their revenue over the past couple of years has basically just, well, it has been increasing year after year. I'm looking at the top right over here. Um, the revenue is increasing. They're operating in free cash flows in the positive, which is always a good thing to see. Um, they're still they're still in the negative in terms of earnings, but that's okay, um, at least for their net income and stuff like that. But overall, they're growing at a rapid pace. Um, and I will be honest, like if we looked at DocuSign when the stock was at like $300, yeah, it was probably overvalued. But at this price point, I think it's at a good level. Does this mean it's the bottom? Absolutely not. But when you have a combination of a stock at a low level, you know, it just fell off of, I guess you can say, quote unquote bad earnings. But when you have a combination of a falling stock price, a growing brand, a growing industry, you can say, plus the CEO putting $2.4 million of his own money into the company, 
it, it gets pretty tempting. So I just want to share with everyone, the CEO, president and CEO, Daniel Springer is definitely, uh, he's definitely buying this dip. And you know, this, of course, it doesn't mean it's the bottom, but still, uh, definitely keep this one on your radar. And then the next one is one of the biggest, I guess you can say insider trades that I've seen in a long time. And that's with Asana. So A-S-A-N is the ticker symbol. A-S-A-N. This stock is, it's interesting, right? So right now it's at like $60 a share. Um, the yearly low was $25 a share. And just like a month ago or maybe two months ago, it was at $145 a share. So it's, again, it's at a good level. It's dipping right now. But the insider activity we're seeing with this one is insane. So we can see Dustin Moskovitz, I, I guess that's how you pronounce it. So he actually uh, co-founded Facebook with Mark Zuckerberg, and then he founded this company, Asana, in like 2008. So like I said, he was one of the original founders or co-founders of Facebook, we can say. He is the youngest self-made billionaire in history. Like I said, he left Facebook in 2008 and I guess you could say uh, created Asana. Asana, for those of you who don't know, is big into, I guess you can say like teamwork and organization management. Um, basically, it's pretty cool. Like you can, I guess the best way to learn about it is just going to their website. But either way, it makes like managing teams very easy and it's definitely been growing. Like you can, you can basically integrate Asana with almost any application and it's pretty cool. But anyways, if we look to the Google Trends, we can see Asana has been growing rapidly, especially over the past year. But even if we look at the past five years, it's still on that uptrend in a pretty good way. So that's always good to see. But uh, back to the, I guess you can say insider activity, is that we have Dustin Moskovitz really, really buying the dip. Or yeah, I guess you'd say buying the dip. So, so far in 2022, right now it's January 16th of 2022. So far in the first 16 days of the year, Dustin Moskovitz bought $129 million worth of ASAN stock. He's the president and CEO of the company. He's been buying this dip very, uh, very hard, we can say. If we scroll down, we can see he's just been so consistent with his um, dip buying, we can say. Like we could just see insider trading Dustin Moskovitz on January 10th. He bought 250,000 shares, around $57.88 a piece. That in total came out to like $14.4 million. But we can see like almost every day he's buying the dip and it's been pretty consistent. He's been doing this for months now. And like I said, like an insider can sell their shares for any reason. It could be because they have to pay taxes. Maybe they want a new mansion. Maybe they think the stock's gonna fall. We don't know. But what we do know is when they buy shares, it's because they think the stock price will rise. So that's a big thing. And to see Dustin just continually, continuously just plowing money and, and just scooping up more and more shares is a pretty bullish sign in my opinion. Plus it's always good to see you know Google search trends increasing. And on top of that, if we scroll back down to Asana, we can see like in June of 2021, uh, Dustin had around 1.3 million shares of uh, stock, you can say, in Asana. And this is just according to the Finviz data, but right now he has over 12 million shares. So, like he's really, really acquiring more and more shares of the company. And he's only doing this because he must think the price will rise. But on top of that, if we look at some of the fundamentals with Asana, so let me just get a quick overview, oops, really quickly. Um, we can just see these loading up. Um, but either way, um, he's been buying the dip for a while. The revenue of this company is continuing to increase. The free cash flow and operating cash flow are still in the negative right now, but that's okay. Not income still in the negative, but that's okay. Um, you know, the company's growing at a good pace. Is this the best setup I've ever seen? No, but to see a, I guess you could say a billionaire and a very experienced uh, leader um, continuing to buy the dip on a beaten down stock is something pretty important and I definitely wanted to showcase it. So either way, I mean, the setup looks pretty good. Google search trends are increasing, which, you know, it's not like a make or break or anything like that, but still it's a good, it's a good thing to see. And especially as just this continuous buying activity from Dustin is huge. If we go to a charting standpoint, we can see that ASAN is right around the $60 support or so. Um, it has resistance right around 80. There's a channel right between $60 and $80. Um, but I like it. Like I
like I said, is it my favorite setup in the entire world? No, but still, it's at a good level. And with ASAN and then with DocuSign, I am going to slowly get into these two. Um, I'm probably just gonna do some cash secured puts on both of them, or maybe just dollar cost average with shares. But both of them have, I mean, they're not like super expensive options, but then again, they're not really cheap. So with both of them, I'm probably just gonna sell some puts. So like if we look at ASAN, let's say we went out to like the February expiration, you know, you can sell like the, fit. wow, it's actually a pretty good premium. So you can sell the 55 strike puts for $350. So that's pretty good. So I might I might sell one of these puts and uh, if I get assigned shares, I get assigned shares and I'll probably just hold. And if I don't, I'll keep the premium and run and I'll probably just sell another put. But either way, both of these stocks are at a good level. And my favorite thing about both of them is that one, we have the insiders putting a lot of money into both of these companies. Two, we have both of these companies at relatively low levels. Like it's not like ASAN is at $200 a share. Like it's at 60 and a couple months ago it was at 145. With DocuSign, right now it's at 130 and a couple months ago it was at 314. Now this doesn't mean it's the bottom for these stocks, but when you see two stocks at, I guess you can say recent lows, plus their president and CEOs uh, you know, buying the dip with millions of dollars, it's a pretty good sign. And then the last thing is that like, obviously the people buying these dips, it's, it's the president and CEO of each company. So that's huge to see. I really uh, like this uh, mix. Like I said, it doesn't mean the bottom, but I definitely wanted to share it. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, following the insiders, of course, it's not you're not gonna time the bottom perfectly, but you can't do that with any strategy. But one thing that really remains, I guess you can say constant, um, is following that smart money, whether they're buying shares or selling shares, normally works pretty well. So I definitely wanted to point it out for you guys. I hope you learned something. Enjoy the day off tomorrow. Happy MLK Day. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions on these setups or you know, if you have any other setups you want to share, definitely check out that first link in the description and the comments down below. It is completely free and you can join our Discord. You can network with a bunch of other traders. You can talk with me and it's a great time. Like I said, it's completely free. The link's down below. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching.